Hello, and welcome back to Alan Wake 2. Let's continue. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the Sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling <laughs> volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. There's one of the pages on the floor. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Damn. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. We, we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Hell Did you get no. spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. But that's crazy, right, Thornton? Oh, that's crazy talk. Monsters aren't real and... They're a fine pair. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, a Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Bro, all those people are gonna die. <laughs> Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Fresh seafood. I'm a good dick. Brian Shrimp. Uh, rinse and repeat. Clock out, get a beer. Or maybe three. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. 
Naomi mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha ha. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. <laughs> I know, right? The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. Ah, what a nice sunset. Bright falls at its finest. Let's do it. <clears throat> oh, my aching legs. I've been thinking more about the cult uh, of the tree. Whoa. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. What the hell's going on over hey. here? Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs don't do a damn Hello, thing, huh? Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. FBC? I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? You mean the Federal Bureau of Control? From the Control game? Holy shit. How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of... Uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna da Vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalanpiirakka. <laughs> Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. 
What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. Whoops. But I don't know anything about a murder. Operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Oh, damn no right raccoons. The garbage can. A cute ass little fresh pins. All right, let's get back to the task at hand. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. What's the there, Stephen? Uh, nothing. Just something that should be here. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. <laughs> I, not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. That's one big ass puddle. Our crime scene drowning. I never minded rain. Feels like home. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Mm -hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, learn what this ritual is. After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Could I? Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case? On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. Oh man, I'm gonna go off by myself. This ain't gonna go well. Follow the tracks. It's getting fucking darker, dude. I don't like this, man. The tracks lead into the water. Oh, Where'd shit. he go from here? Oh, fuck. I can feel something. Jesus the fucking presence. Christ. Nightingale isn't far. <clears throat> I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. A threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle. It is creepy as fuck.
What is that? It seems like it's reacting to the light. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. Whoa. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering... The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. Light is the key to stay safe, but for something more to be revealed as well. Is Witch's Ladle the doorway into the overlap? If so, that's where I'll find Nightingale. I need to find the Witch's Hut. This is the witch's hut. Anderson, I thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay. I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. The fuse box is missing a fuse. I need to find one to turn on the lights. This fuse is busted. This one looks good. People should really stop littering, though. Well, it's all wet now. Shit. Is it even gonna work? of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. What the hell? I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? While they played cards in the general store, the witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. I need to check the general store for the heart. 
KC. I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Uh, roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. <laughs> I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Holy fuck. Whoa! Holy shit, dude. That was awesome. Cultist. A monster. Like Nightingale. on the heart is clearer now. Legible. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Nice. Yeah. Got a shotgun. Found the heart in the fridge. Just like the page said I would. Sounds literary. But what does it mean? Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder, but it is exciting.
wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the Heart Witch. Show me the terror. in the overlap are you still on your way Casey oh shit Casey do you need me fuck okay Saga going in solo Mom. Logan Mom, help. Logan where are you what the fuck was that Logan's back in Virginia you're imagining things. What was that? Wait. Did I get turned around? No, this is right. This place is looping. Like a nightmare. Whoa, what?
gotta move. Now. Christ, this guy is strong. Are you okay? Uh, no! Holy it's my shit. fault! It got out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... He's changed the story. The d dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13? Oh, shit. Alright, well, I gotta pause it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.